And uh, the second one is behind the scenes tours. I know that Holland America does them. I know that they do them since COVID. Um, and we have a bunch of people on board who like uh, infrastructure just a little bit. Um, Can't say and, why. And, yeah, and I, you know, I don't know how this shit works. I want to know more. I want to see where the diesel leaked. <laughs> It's uh, one of my favorite Bob Seger lyrics, yeah. <laughs> we actually have generally been told that the, the vast majority of tours are no longer being done on this ship, but we will, you know, we will ask again, because it is, that is something that comes up every year, and we, some of us have the opportunity to look at it before the pandemic, and it, it is really, it's really neat. Um, they, they also did put to, the ship also did put together a presentation, a video presentation to give you a look into some of those spaces. Um, it's not the same, but it, it is it is it is fun time as well. Oh yeah, they they do the have the last one that they did with on the project that I run on the West Coast, and they ended up auctioning. Like they they kept calling and saying, "Can we can right. catch you away?" Because they had so many people who wanted to be on it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they do have now, we are on the second section where we do the cruise, several weeks before the cruise. And for retail sailings, they have a program called City at Sea, where because it was so popular, they realized they could not, they could not meet demand, where it is this involved presentation, but just the way our programming worked out, we were not able to do that for our sailing. Yeah. I mean, that said, we will certainly pass along the feedback. Uh, that was, that was a lot yeah, of I want to get back here too. Yeah, yeah me too. Not allowed. 